I'm just kidding, it's empty. Jeez. First of all, it's my mom's birthday, so happy birthday, mom. I am insanely thankful for you and all the love that you've given me and the support. Even when I've made really bad mistakes and really stupid decisions, you've always been there with grace and love and open arms to forgive me and give me guidance. And I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity to be your son. So happy birthday. Anyway, I'm prepping for this thing called the thorn. And I think I talked a little bit about it in the first video, the one with the super pretentious title. Come on, guys, you know I gotta get you to click on it. <laughs> what? What's up? It's a theatrical performance similar to Cirque du Soleil. So obviously like on a smaller level, but I signed up for it because I really want to kind of figure out what I enjoy. And it's gonna be pretty challenging, but one of my main goals is to still make YouTube videos while I'm doing the tour and I'm just really pumped for it. If you wanna see more details and perhaps if we're in your state at a certain time, you can come and watch me perform and see a really cool show. The link will be in the description. This is bothering me. But because of that, I'm going to a tricking session tonight and I'm gonna work on some tricks. I've trained a little bit on my own, but in two videos ago, I got acupuncture because I needed it. So today is a day to get back at it. I'm really pumped to try some new tricks. Obviously, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Also, I want to show you guys this. It's a fingerprint padlock. That would hurt so bad. Don't actually like scratch you like that. Ah. Oh. Stay the art cap ca ca capacitive. Allows unlocking in under 0.8 seconds. Stores up to 100 different fingerprints per lock. Joy, you hear that? I could scan like all 20 of your fingers. I'm not sure if it works with dogs, but. Oh, there it is. Oh, shoot. What's happening? It's blinking. Uh, this is the power button. I'm gonna read through this and set it up and then I'm gonna show you it opening because I really want to see and I'm not like sponsored by these guys at all. I just thought it was really cool. So I wanted to share it with you because like a fingerprint padlock, like I literally feel like I'm in James Bond right now, so. <laughs> I put away the instructions packet and I need it. <laughs> Whoa, that is sick. Hey, Sean. Whoa. If you had a friend with gauges, this would make it so much easier. Just to like, it'd be so funny. I'm just gonna, I should do that. Just padlock some dude's gauge? Well, my friend. So what happens if, uh... Someone cuts off my finger? No, oh, well. Sean's first video. Goals for tonight, land five, touchdown rise, swing courts. You guys probably have no idea what that is, but enjoy. Christian rap, are you guys cool with that? Look crazy. <laughs> Did you not just look at each other? Frozen face like old tax. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no stars up in this tour. To the stars and my dogs, love to applaud all the faithful saints to endure. You can never stop them. You got a better chance winning the tour to friends with no legs against lands. I'm seeing Mr. Ever since the hands on Instagram taking a selfie. Your hell freeze before I'm ashamed off in my LP. Oh, they really want to come see this beat. One, three, one, three, get eight. When I speak, I'm going to say my piece. Try to peace sign with some ball. Load it, chill. Good to see you, man. Yep, got that out. Good to see you, bro. Hey, good to see you, bro. You too, man. Liam, right? Yep. Awesome. Good to meet you, bro. <laughs> I am about to eat a Sloppy Joe. Now, Sloppy Joes are obviously pretty sloppy. This one is a little bit more sloppy because it's not even made with a hamburger bun, it's made with whole wheat bread. Sloppy Joes are sloppy, sometimes messy to eat, and especially this Sloppy Joe is just really weird because it's not made with a bun. But 
it's still really good. It's a sufficient and filling meal. The whole point I'm trying to make right now, it doesn't have to be perfect to be good, enjoyable, and fulfilling. Back when I was making YouTube videos a couple years ago, I would sometimes spend up to 24 hours editing a video. When I edit these videos, I spend up to four hours. I've learned to trust myself. I don't feel like I need the same amount of perfection that I was trying to shoot for. I can still get my message across without shooting for absolute perfection with all my videos. So I encourage you, if you have filmed a video, if you're currently editing a video, maybe you wrote a song, if you wrote a poem, if you wrote a book, if you choreographed a dance, if you started something and you haven't yet finished it because you're afraid it's not gonna be perfect or it's not gonna be good enough, I encourage you to take whatever that is that you're afraid isn't gonna be good enough. It could be homework, it could be a piece of content, it could be an email that you're writing even. I encourage you to let go of perfectionism and just get your message out there because you'll notice that the right people will care a lot more about your message versus the vehicle that is being delivered in. To sum things up, if you have wheat bread instead of a bun, usually you can make it work.